Hello, dear friends, I'm with you. And today I'm reviewing for you the Malisi Durs mod for version 1102. The mod also exists for an earlier version of 1710 and adds a lot of new doors, hatches, and something else. To begin with, the mod makes changes to the animation, even for vanilla doors. Look how smoothly they open now. The changes also affected the wickets. Now the double leaf gate opens differently. See how beautiful it looks and how convenient it is. Now your horses and other animals will not get stuck in the doorway. What you are seeing now, at first glance, it seems like an ordinary gate, but in fact, it is a new gate from this very fashion. A chameleon gate, it is called a camouflage gate, and it takes the form of those blocks that surround it from two sides. And now I'm going to demonstrate it to you. Here, let me take gold or glass and the very blocks that are usually not used as blocks for walls. So, we put the glass, open and close the door, and as you can see, the gate has become glass. And now we will replace it with other blocks, for example, with this beautiful wool. Pull the gate again, and look, the gate has become woolen. Let's look at the light stone, and the same story with the light stone. Look how great it looks, how wonderful it is. This brings a lot of variety. For those who like to build, like to make different designs in their buildings. I think it's just a great idea of the developers. At least the entrances to the gates of your pens will now be well illuminated. You will not miss the entrances when you run away from creepers. Let's put another block, for example, or and look, the gate has taken the form of gold or I think it's just great and wonderful. And we'll also put here, for example, a mycelium block and all the same. The gate takes the form of the environment that you need. And now we are going to take a little look at the variety of doors that the mod offers us. These are the first doors. They can be double. They are sliding and open by hand. Look, they have completely new sounds. There were no vanilla versions like this before. Here's another animation. This is the same iron door, work from the signal of the red stone. The hand does not open, you need an opening mechanism for it. Here. It's also a very interesting door. It will suit you somewhere for some shops, laboratories, I don't know what. In general, very good. I really like this door. I always put it in the stable to close the doors. The stables also do not open with a hand, they open with a lever or a signal of a red stone. A very beautiful next door in Japanese style, also with a kind of animation, with its own sound. It is very suitable for all sorts of oriental, especially Japanese style structures, for castles, for houses wonderful. The next doors are single more suitable for all kinds of factories, something in the style of high-tech, something like that, some space stations. Here, we look further. Brings us fashion curtains. I made a corner, that is, in principle, it can be a screen, a transition to another room, but in this case, I used it as a curtain for the window. You see, it turned out to be a window sill. Here it opens, and there are curtains of different colors. I took only one, but you will see that it is by no means one. I'm going to go see how beautiful it looks from the outside. You see, we have a sunset, and perhaps we will set a time set. So we look further at the next innovation. This is the salon door. It is not necessary to open it with your hand. It just goes through. It even swings after you have passed. For all sorts of Western-style buildings, for Western-style maps, it will be perfectly stylistically suitable. The next door is also very interesting. There is an entrance to some kind of bunker. 
if someone is maybe building some kind of bomb shelter or maybe reconstructing the metro 2033 i think that such a door will perfectly suit the style garage door the garage door can also be set quite large here i have a trolley here but you may have cars or a horse or something else that's how it climbs up that's how it opens and closes the mod gives us two options for large doors here is one more in the renaissance style and the second one is like the ancient one you can also see that the sounds are peculiar to them unfortunately their edging is only made of quartz therefore we do not have a very large choice of this doorway only quartz remains but all the same i think the doors are made beautifully very stylishly very beautifully and they bring a great variety to our construction capabilities but when i saw this door for the first time i had the impression that i was going to go there now and there the umbrella corporation had already developed a deadly t-virus and it had almost spread look at her that's how it opens and that's how it closes some kind of laboratory door is suitable for maps with some modern laboratory buildings. So, well, then we'll look at the hatches. Here is one of the bunker type hatches. I had a creeper there, but it's not there anymore. Here, and let's look further. Here's a whole set of hatches. Previously, there were no hatches in the vanilla version, but now there is a vanilla hatch for each type of vanilla door. Well, not vanilla, fashionable, well, out of fashion, but here's a hatch like this. You see, it fits the style of the doors that are in the vanilla version of 1102. The next hatch is 2x2, two two, that is, four blocks of opening. I really like the sound with which it opens very entourage. For those who again, make a map in the style of the Metro 2033. I think this is just a godsend. Look at what a wonderful hatch into the bunker. And when you install it, these handles are immediately installed on one block, on top and bottom. It is very convenient to climb through it, climb up, Climb down and look how cool the valve closes. Just gorgeous animation. I think in this fashion, everything is very thought out, wonderful, a wide variety of sounds, and a huge variety of different doors. These are the ladders that this mod also gives us. Rusty, pretty, also very stylish. Let's approach this, this ditch with glory, and imagine that we need to cross it. Let's say we have some kind of map with a quest, and there is no other option to pass it as soon as we move. And how can we do this so as not to burn in this lake of glory? And you can do it like this. Look, there is a force field controller, and as you can see, the force field is ignited. Here it is. You see, we can also pass through the force field, if, of course, it was installed there in advance. And if we extinguish the force field, then we will fall through this path from the force field and catch fire. Well, since I'm creative, I won't have anything. But in survival, of course, whoever gets there will not be well. I think this is a wonderful thing. This thing is suitable for all sorts of maps with quests, for parkour, for such things. It is a very interesting find. And finally, let's look at a device that allows us to craft doors at our discretion, that is at will, which we want to create. And so the door factory allows you to create doors with your own settings. Let's first look at what the settings are here. 
Here is the movement and the choice of movement that the door makes. In other words, this is the direction of the door shift, where it rotates or does something. There's a whole bunch of these settings here. We're not going to consider everything. We're just going to see how it looks in practice now. Then, there are parameters such as the opening time, the opening delay, that is, how quickly the door reacts to your pressing. A double door or a single door, you can also choose. The reaction is how it opens with a hand or a redstone signal, and even you can choose the sound with which your door will open. Here's a look. There are a number of sounds for doors. There are also settings. Frame type, upper block material, lower block material. It's hard to explain. It's easier to show in practice. Now we will choose some very contrasting material. For example, the color of a stone. It is very well visible immediately. Then, for example, we will take it. We will take it. Well, what else do we take? Well, let's get some kind of pebble or something. Let's take a mossy stone, for example. Here is a stone brick and something else contrasting, just absolutely contrasting. Here, for example. For example, well, let's take some wool. Here we have three blocks of different colors, and we will put let us have the material of the upper block of light stone, the material of the lower block, and so it climbs. And the frame we will have purple wool. And now we will choose the settings that. Let's see what we have selected in the settings. Here, we have a double rotation to the left. So let's see what a double rotation to the left is. Let's choose. But you can also choose a password. That is, this one, who does not know the password, will not enter this door. Let's have the password 123. And now we're going to click make a door, and we're going to make this door. I don't remember we chose a single or a double one, but we'll put it somewhere and test it. And so it turned out, you see, a woolen frame, a light stone up, and this mossy brick at the bottom. And let's see how this door opens. She asked us for a password. We know the password and enter it. And here, it is our double rotation to the left. Again, to open it, that's how you can do it. Here, since I'm creative, I have countless doors at once. So, something has happened here, some kind of tricky trouble. Apparently this is some kind of tank. Here, well, it doesn't matter, we'll try to make another door. Let's take new materials again, and take something contrasting again. Let's take a sponge, for example, a golden block, and something else, something else. We'll take the diamond ones over there, the diamond ore. That's great. And we'll make a new door. Let's make a new door with a different rotation. Let's make a four-sided rotation. A four-way rotation, a double door, we'll make a delay. We'll make some other opening time, otherwise we already had one. Let it be 10, for example. And we will also make the opening delay this time, and let it be 5. Let's choose something else. We'll choose another sound for the door. Let it be wickets, Luke. First, let there be a hatch, and the behavior will be normal or unusual, and let's have it open now at the signal of the roadstone. So let's look further. Let's put the materials. Let it be a sponge frame. The bottom will be diamond, 
and the top will be yellow. So we did the door, and I probably forgot to remove the password, but I had a door. I'll probably remove the password now. Or maybe I didn't have one. Great. It's wonderful that he wasn't there. That's the only thing that now this door won't open so easily for me. And look, the door, in my opinion, is glowing, despite the fact that it's night outside, and the door is all the same, which was made of stone light. So, what's not working for me? Ah, so the password was there after all. There was a password, but this is a rotation in four directions and the sound of the hatch, as you hear. This is how the door turned out. That is, as you can see, the possibilities are very large. You can design doors on your own. And this is very, very cool, I think. I hope you liked my review. Maybe it helped in some way. And now you will become an expert in creating unique doors. Visit my channel, leave your comments, suggestions, suggest mods for reviews. And that's it. Bye-bye.